Dear friends, I'm Bishop Edgar da Cunha. As you probably know, I was born and raised in Brazil. After completing my religious studies in Brazil and in the United States, I was ordained to the priesthood in Newark, New Jersey in 1982, and in 2003 became Auxiliary Bishop of Newark. After 33 years serving God's people in New Jersey, last July, the Lord sent me here to serve His people in the Diocese of Fall River. Even though I have been here for a short time, I have come to know and love the people God has entrusted to my pastoral care. We are comprised of thousands of men and women who live their faith through prayer, action, and deep conviction. I hope that as you join us in this mission of service, you will find joy in the Lord's call to share your gifts with our needy brothers and sisters. Through your participation, you are witnessing the truth of Jesus' message to love our neighbor. Today, as we begin our 74th annual Catholic Charities Appeal, you will hear from some of the people who serve others in the diocese and from those that are served. Jean Delaney of Holy Trinity Parish in West Howard has been a Eucharistic minister at Cape Cod Hospital for seven years. As a volunteer in the hospital ministry, she never thought she'd be receiving services. My husband was in Cape Cod Hospital for 13 days, and the chaplain did come in every day. It was very important for him. He appreciated it, and I did too. We donate annually to the Catholic Charities Appeal. When we donate, we don't think that we're going to get it back. But in this past year, my husband and I have been recipients. It is a great comfort to the patients and their families to have chaplain visits and the sacraments. I'm assigned here full time and I'm available 24 hours a day. When we're suffering, it's really a temptation that we fall into despair and oftentimes we feel alone and isolated. And so our ministry here at Cape Cod Hospital is to make people know that they're not forgotten by the church, to make them know that Christ is not forgetting them, that Christ is walking with them even to the ends of the earth. My mother passed away approximately six weeks ago. Um, the day before she passed away, uh, I had called to ask the chaplain to come in to give my mother the anointing of the sick with my father and my sister and myself. A um, couple of my children were there. It was a beautiful moment. He helped my mother find peace. And, uh, <clears throat> and my mother passed away about 12 hours later. And I honestly believe um, that Father Ron was able to help my mother and guide my mother uh, to finding that peace um, so that she could um, pass um, very peacefully. Because of your support, there is 24-hour chaplaincy in hospitals across the diocese. At Cape Cod Hospital and Falmouth Hospitals alone, last year there were nearly 11,000 chaplain visits, over 8,700 communions distributed, and over 3,000 sacraments of the sick administered. On a recent visit to St. Clair's in Hyannis, a transitional home for women coming out of prison, Bishop de Cunha met and prayed with women whose lives have been positively affected by your support. St. Clair's is a program designed for women who are incarcerated to give them an opportunity to change their lives and to give them hope and a second chance of becoming a productive member of society. When you're coming out of prison, you're coming out with nothing, absolutely nothing. No place to live, no job. It's important for people to continue to donate to the Catholic Charities Appeal because um, without this place, some women wouldn't have anywhere to go, and it's a beautiful program. I grew up on Cape Cod, and I grew up with everything that I needed, and I never thought it would lead to an actual opiate addiction and addiction in general, but the disease is progressive, and it moves quickly, and it takes over your life, and your mind makes you commit crimes, and it makes you make decisions that you wouldn't make normally and eventually you're in full-blown addiction and you don't know what to do. St. Clair's helps women get back on their feet 
Right now, if it wasn't for St. Clair's, I could honestly say I would either still be in jail or possibly dead. Probably homeless. I would be in prison. My life was isolated and depressed and I thought there was no hope for me. And there is when, especially when you come to a program like St. Clair's. I believe people should donate to help St. Clair's because the simple fact that it saves people's lives. Thanks to your support, the various programs of Catholic Social Services provided shelter or housing for more than 1,000 homeless people in our diocese. We went through a lot actually um, from being homeless, uh, actually pregnant and homeless for my girls, um, house to house, sleeping in a car. If it wasn't for the Donovan house, I wouldn't have custody of my children. I wouldn't have a bed f for them to sleep on. I wouldn't have what I have now. I probably wouldn't even be in school if it wasn't for them. That's seriously, like a thank you. We are the largest provider of permanent supportive housing in southeastern Massachusetts. In addition to housing, the Diocese of Fall River provides other services, such as the Television Mass, which is estimated to be seen on a regular weekly basis by at least 15,000 people in approximately 6,000 homes, providing spiritual comfort for the sick and homebound in our diocese. The Permanent Diaconate, which presently has 66 deacons in active ministry serving parishes and apostolates throughout the diocese. Adoption by Choice, providing domestic and international adoptions, supportive services, counseling, ongoing interventions and pregnancy counseling, and marriage preparation. My wife and I have always been great supporters of Catholic charities. They cover a wide range of things like marriage preparation. We cover everything from building a family, children, spiritual aspects of family life, of a couple's life together, programs about finances. We cover programs about backgrounds. The real focus of the marriage prep program is communication between the engaged couples and encouraging that communication. I think the Oscar Romero prayer is very pertinent to what we do. The notion of planting a seed in the engaged couples for them to take away and grow from is very much what we are doing in our marriage prep program. The people who donate to Catholic Charities really help make everything possible that we are able to do with the engaged couples. In addition to marriage prep, the Office for Faith Formation, which is supported by the Catholic Charities Appeal, offers a wide variety of programs and services and provides leadership, support, and enablement to those who serve in catechetical ministries in the Diocese of Fall River. Last year, 93 cents of every dollar donated went directly to help our less fortunate neighbors and friends through a wide variety of services and programs. The Office with Persons with Disabilities assists anyone with a disability. The disability could be anywhere from depression to severe paralysis, brain injury. If they need assistance, we assist them. I do everything from bringing people food, to helping them apply for social security, to pulling them off the streets when they're homeless. Donating to Catholic Charities helps the Office for Persons with Disabilities to continue to do the work they do. We're able to attack problems we see as we see them uh, with the best way to solve them. The dollars you give and pledge now reach people throughout the entire year, and not just Catholics but anyone who needs the services and programs it enables. The Gift of Giving program provides gifts of clothing and toys to families in need by collaborating with 15 parishes throughout the diocese to assure that each child receives a complete outfit of clothing and toys. Over 100 volunteers give of their time to assist in this project. Last Christmas, more than 6,200 gifts were distributed. Throughout all of Cape Cod and the islands of Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket, along with the other areas of the diocese, our people do their part to make sure that the gospel is proclaimed and that God's people are served. 
Your contributions to the Catholic Charities Appeal help fund the Brazilian and Hispanic Apostolates, addressing the pastoral needs of both communities and facilitating their participation in the life of the Church. Masses are celebrated in Portuguese and Spanish, and parishioners can gather in prayer and song to worship in their native language. The area's other immigrant populations are also served through ESL and GED programs, legal assistance, counseling, and citizenship preparation classes. The English Second Language program reaches at least 70 people per semester. They come to this program for free. People should continue to donate to Catholic Charities because it supports wonderful programs such as this. We have a population in our diocese that is in great need. When I started here, uh, first of all, uh, my English was terrible. I'm still improving, but it was terrible. I got my American citizenship because I have learned English here. Now I'm studying my master's degree in clinical psychology. I'm so thankful for the teachers and CSS. I'm so thankful forever in my life. In the fall uh, 2013, I, um, I started here um, as a student. This year, I come here to say thanks for everyone. And he told me, we need help. He told me, this year, you can help me teaching the class. Eh, los servicios católicos nos han ayudado a nosotros bastante. Traducción, llevándonos a muchos lugares eh, eh, para apartamentos. También solicitar, haciendo solicitar para ayuda económica, también para la, la, los alimentos. Todo ha sido muy excelente y todavía nos sigue ayudando. Catholic Social Services has helped me so many times, not just me, but my family as well, and in numerous ways. I mean, when we got to this country, not knowing how to speak English, not knowing what to do um, or how the law works, and um, Catholic Social Services helped in every single way. In the Oscar Romero prayer, he says we plant the seeds that one day will grow, and CSS has done that for my family. They've planted the seeds. Today I'm able to show what they've done. I've learned English. I've accomplished so many things, as well as my parents. They've been helped by this organization, CSS, and we're very, very thankful, very happy. Thank you so much. <laughs> it is due to the generosity of people like you and the more than 31,000 parishioners and supporters of last year's appeal that we were able to help local people in need. And the good works performed on your behalf through your sharing of gifts are appreciated by the people being served. I ask you to prayerfully consider and support this year's Catholic Charities Appeal. No matter how large or small your contribution may be, you can, with this one act, Live your faith by helping others experience the same love of God that blesses us all. Please be assured of my prayers and continued gratitude for your generous response. It's local. I mean, it takes care of people locally. Uh, so I think it's a real gift to be able to donate to Catholic Charities. Thank you. Thank you for cooperating with Christ, who really desires that we be present to the sick. And I hope the Lord blesses all those who give to our campaign this year. For any of you that have donated in the past, thank you very much. You've provided the opportunity for thousands and thousands of patients to be able to have this service so that people can continue their faith while in the hospital. I really thank them so much. It's, I'm like speechless and God bless them because Without this place, I don't know where I would be. I'm truly grateful. You don't know us, we're strangers, but yet you care enough um, to donate and to give, you know, and help us out like that. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Really, really from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Their donations are appreciated, enabling the work to continue. Uh, they are spreading the joy of the gospel, as Pope Francis says these days. That's what we're all doing. We're trying to spread the joy of the gospel. 
It's important for people at the parish level, at the diocesan level, to become involved in a variety of ministries, to really try to help others in need, because that's really what we are called to do. I call it spirituality of action. Thank you. I thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. I got my master's degree because of you. I thank you very much. Thank you for helping people like me. Y estamos muy agradecidos y que Dios los siga bendiciendo siempre y que los sigan respaldando y ayudándolo para que ellos sigan ayudando personas como nosotros. Thank you so much for all the donors, for everybody who keeps helping out every year. I know it's hard that you take a little bit from your income to help um, this agency and organization such as this one. Thank you so much. God bless you and your family every day. I'm happy that it comes from the heart because they don't have to. It's it's loving. It's nice that there's people out there that actually care. God bless you. Feed the hungry. Shelter the homeless. Comfort the sorrowful. In His name. It's what we do. Please give generously to the Catholic Charities Appeal.